What is this? Huh? What's this? From diesel or gas pacers to rocket powered racers. Nomads, go mats, RV schoolies. Turn it, tweak it, tune it, fix it so smoothly. That's why he's badge. Everybody needs one. Welcome back, sports fans. You're wondering what the hell that was. Well, no, we're not making a Ghostbuster movie, but it's kind of funny. So what we're doing today is we're moving the solar from the shed, which has been working awesome. We had it hooked up for, holy shit, months now, but it works awesome. We just get, we don't have enough sun to really charge it up 100%, so we've been running uh, a battery charger to it, but it works just fine. We put, we could turn the coffee machine on and Elle's hair dryer at the same time. Cause we have, as you know, I think I told you about this, didn't I? The 4,000 watt inverter we got from Canadian Tire. You know, when you got Canadian Tire figured out, they just come out and come out with some new stuff. So of course, being like, I'm the Canadian Neil, Neil's Farber Freight, I'm Canadian Tire. So I had to try it, of course, you know. Just like my little brother down in Kentucky, he's got, now uh, Harbor Freight's got a gold ratchet. Like, really, I'm telling you. So, oh, by the way, we've got this new uh, solar charger. We bought this from uh, Uncle Wieners here. It's something like, I want to be a Harbor Freight, but I'll never do it thing. So um, I'm going to try it. It's 40, watt, 40 amps, 12 volt. We're going to try it. I still have my old Canadian tire back up there. So we're going to do the solar. Now we're going to put the solar in the truck here. We're going to put it up in the back there. And we're going to put the batteries there. And then we're going to put everything up here. And um, put the... Um, I'm going to put the inverter above it. Because I don't really need the inverter in the back. Because I have a remote to do it. So um, we'll do that. And put the solar in there. And then we're going to plug in all the charge things. So they got a DeWalt charger now because soft-hearted me. Hey, are you in the video? Keep it down to a roar, okay? That's not a roar. That's not a roar, buddy. I'm sorry to say. That's not a roar. What do you think there, Maple? Huh? What do you think, buddy? So, yeah. Where was I before I was rude and interrupted by a damn dog? Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to mount the inverter up front. And we got... We even put a fuse in it this time. <laughs> We've never had a fuse in it before. So we got a fuse. But this is a smoking deal. What you do is you watch for Canadian Tire. This thing is uh, 4,000 watts. And it was on for three ninety nine dollars Canadian. You know, that's like a buck, 150 bucks American. So, and it's 4,000 watts. It'll, you can, I'm going to try it because you know I will, because I'm bullheaded. I'm going to try run the air conditioning off because I need 28 to start and 12 to run. And that should do it. So we're going to put the same four batteries back in that we got. You know, everybody goes on lithium and AGM and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I'm sorry. I just... They work. Why would I change them? They work. So that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to put a charger on this one. We never had a charger before. And then that way I can just run the um, generator out or whatever. And we're still going to have the power wire come back. Well, it's not a power starter cable. Size of your finger. Um, from the alternator. Because you got the big alternator on there. So um, I'm not going to show you putting it in. That's just boring. Go watch another video or something. And then I'll come back and I'll show you when it's all installed. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'll get back to you in a minute. Welcome back, sports fans. Okay. Now, I, I'm not going to change nothing. All I'm changing is the inverter and the water pump. Because the water pump, we got a 12-volt one from Princess Automotive. So we're going to try that one. It worked pretty good. So you never know. Okay, now we put the 4,000 watt inverter in. It's up there with the same batteries, the same cables, everything. But we put a fuse on it. That's for my, that's for Jamie over at the van build. I put that on for him. Um, we got the Milwaukee hooked up. We got the new charge controller. Now this is one that Keith got me over at uh, 
Uncle Wieners. They got an Uncle Wieners here in Edmonton. So I'm going to try it. I don't know. I saw my old one. Um, it's all wired. The only thing I got it, and we got the 120. The only thing I got to do is put lights on it. I'm going to put a couple lights on the back. This is a switch for my uh, inverter here. It's, I don't know. What, I might have to cover that over. That thing was pretty bright last night. But anyway, so we basically got it back to where it was. And that's how open it is. That's how much. The only thing we got to put in there is lawn chairs and a generator. That's about it. And the what? Barbecue. Oh, the barbecue. Yeah, because you can't put it underneath the condo anymore because that's the baby's condo. So anyway, so yeah, and maybe a bottle of propane. That's it. So we got lots of room. We don't need to get back in there. Everything comes out. So um, yeah, we'll just pick away at it now and, you know, a couple things here and there. It'll all be good. So I hope you get something out of it. And if you got any comments, put them down below. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say in this one. That's lunch. Oh, you got to wash your hands before you come in. Salad? That's not one. Badge. Everybody needs one. We love our badge. And just remember, he's not asking.